Hey guys, so this is going to be a Target Dollar Spot haul along with Target Black Friday sales. I also went to Ulta, so I will share the Ulta stuff with you guys after I finish all of the Target stuff. There are about six items, I want to say, somewhere around there, that were repurchases from the Target Dollar Spot because I had purchased them originally for myself, and then I repurchased them for gifts. So the first item that I'm going to show you guys I don't already own. I do have a faux fur stocking from like a week and a half ago, but it's not in this color. So the white faux fur is my favorite. This was a $3 item. The one that I already have is in a gray color. Then I picked up this color right here. This is in a brown and beige color. So I have the white, the brown and beige, and then the gray. I repurchased the faux fur pillows, two of them. I got another white one. This was a $5 item. And then I got another, if I can reach it, sorry guys. I got another one of the gray. And this gray is the color of the third stocking that I already own. So I will be giving one of these out as gifts. I was really hoping that I could find the faux fur pillow in this color for myself and just to give out as a gift but I haven't seen that color in the pillows at all at my Target dollar spot so they may have had that color at other targets but not at mine so this item was a new item to me I didn't repurchase and I don't own it however I may repurchase it so I feel like I'm going to be saying that a lot and I have said it a lot but it's got this adorable red vintage truck which you guys know they're doing a lot of the little red trucks this year at numerous different stores so it's got the red vintage truck the christmas tree this was five dollars and look at the back of it you guys super stinking cute so i will show you guys why i might repurchase another one of these when i go back if they in fact have them i repurchased another one of these this is the red and black makeup bag this doesn't say i think this was a three dollar item so i got one for myself and then one to give out as a gift so if i repurchase another one of these pillows with the red and black plaid i can use my second one of these and then in the buckets they have for three dollars they have the red and black plaid so i'd have to purchase that as well and i could put that pillow in there with this makeup bag and then put lots of stuff inside of the makeup bag and it would be an all red and black plaid theme gift so that's my idea for that stuff I picked up dang it sorry this keeps falling I picked up this which this is not a repurchase this is new to me this was a three dollar item which I was surprised by I thought it would be five because it's really heavy duty it's this pretty silver and they had these in red and green as well and I would like to get the red and green when I go back I did originally have them in my cart, but Robert wanted a video game, and it was a pretty good deal, so I put some of my stuff back so he could get the video game that he wanted. So I picked out the silver for now, and like I said, it's got the rope handle, and when you put a light or a candle in there, it's just going to be super pretty. So I also have an idea for this for gift giving if I don't keep it, and I'll show you right now. So I already own this and I repurchased another one because, let's be honest you guys, the prices of these for gift giving is totally helping me as far as my wallet goes. I'm spending next to nothing for super adorable gifts. So I have to show you another item for my idea. These were not from the Target Dollar Spot. These were from just the regular shoe and slipper section, but they were a Black Friday deal. I got these for 40% off, so I got a pair for myself, and then I got a second pair for gift giving, and they were originally $12.99. They're in the Exhilaration brand, and they also had these in, like, a pair where the sequence was, like, a kind of clearish white with, like, a hint of pink rainbowy look on it and I wanted those so bad they were so cute but the biggest size they had was 7-8 and I have to have at least a 9-10 so my idea for this gift giving for the second pair of these is to put these inside the second one of these buckets and then you could put this in there you could get a nice pack of tea lights from like Ross or TJ Maxx Marshalls and like one of the good brands and include those and then I also repurchased 
two of these because these were only a dollar. These are the glittered gift card holders. You could include this in there with like maybe a Starbucks, $5 Starbucks gift card or $10. And I would fill it with like tinsel because that's glitzy and silvery looking. So tell me that would not be a super inexpensive, adorable Christmas gift. So $3 for the bucket, a dollar for the card, $5 for the gift card, $3 for the candle holder, you could even get a pack of tea lights at the Dollar Tree. And then, like I said, I got these for 40% off of $12.99. And there you go, a super adorable gift with tinsel filling in it. So that's my idea for these items as a gift. And the second pair of these is in my room. I was actually wearing them last night, so I ripped the tag off for those. Then I repurchased another one of these. This was a $3 item. I already own this. And I thought it would be cute to maybe do this gold candle holder and then the gold gift card holder with, like I said, maybe a Starbucks, $5 Starbucks gift card and a pack of tea lights and, you know, just a couple of random things together. They do, in fact, have these buckets in the gold glitzy look as well, but I haven't been able to find those at my Target dollar spot yet. Well, no, actually not yet because the workers said they had them, but they sold out really fast. So if I can find a gold one, then I want to do a gold um, gift basket or gift bucket as well with the same thing. And I don't know if I'd be able to find gold slippers, but that would be cute. So I got both of those. Oh, and you could include this as well. These I don't own. Um, I am keeping these for myself. However, these were $3.00. I think these should have been a dollar. They had these, and I believe red, silver, and I don't know if they had green, but the gold were my favorite. And I saw these last time, but I decided this time I wasn't going to pass on them. I picked up this, which I had seen on Instagram. I think this is, hold on guys, it looks like there's like a little like gnat or something on here. And no, that's not happening. One second, guys. I don't know why there have been like gnats and spiders. We have an ex well, not really gnats. Like, there's been tons of flies, tons of spiders, and we have an exterminator that comes once a month. So I don't, I don't know, but he doesn't do the inside, he does the outside. So, anyways, I had seen this, um, last actually on people's Instagrams and. I saw it when I had went to Target Dollar Spot maybe two weeks ago. I passed on it. The next time I went, I found one of them, but the handle was ripped off. So when I saw them this time, I was like, I'm definitely picking one up. And it looks like it has one of those cheapy, like, mirrors that's, like, cloudy, but it's actually just a plastic wrap. So it's got a real nice mirror on the inside. This was... It doesn't say, but this was a $5 item, so I got that, which I was pretty excited about. I picked another one of these up. This is the Sherpa Throw. It's 48 inches by 48 inches, $5. I actually have one of these put away for Robert, and I got another one for his baby cousin because I think that'd be a cute little gift. These were not a part of the Target dollar spot, but they were Black Friday Sales. These were also 40% off, you guys. I got the gray and, like, silver glitzy or um, sequins. And then I got the off-white beige with the gold sequins or glitzy look. These were originally $14.99, so 40% off of that I thought was a really good deal. That's why I got two of them. They have the little pom-poms hanging off the sides of them. And then... I already showed you guys, I got two of these each, and these were $12.99. So those were all the different slippers that I got in the slipper and shoe section because I had a great deal on those. I picked up two more of these from the Target dollar spot for a dollar each. And then the video games that Robert got, which were an awesome deal, I got him this Battlefield 1 for his Xbox One. This is normally $79.99. And it was on sale for Black Friday for $35, but I actually got charged $59.99. So it just goes to show you guys that sometimes I'm undercharged, sometimes I'm overcharged. And even before I was undercharged last time, if you guys heard the little story about that, I've been overcharged many times before that. So 
it works both ways. And then his aunt for his PS4 got him Madden 17 also on Black Friday. And she did actually get this for $35. This was normally $79.99 as well. And this just came out like a week ago. So he's pretty lucky that he got both of these games this close before Christmas. So I was just showing these to you guys in case you have kids that want them or your husband, or you yourself want to play them, that's a great deal. And I did, in fact, still see these online late last night for $35. From Ulta, I think that's everything from Target, you guys. Let me just make sure I went to Ulta, and I wasn't really, like, super impressed with what Ulta had for Black Friday. They had this little section. I took pictures, and I'll post them on my Instagram. They had this little section of 5 for 5, but it was, like, some off-brand of, like, little stuff. Then I almost got the um, melted um, matte liquid lipsticks. They had a set for, like, 25, but I decided to pass. However, I did pick up this Clinique gift set. It was $55 and it was originally $84, so I thought that was a pretty good deal. And I've been wearing Clinique Happy since high school. I should have took the lid off of this in advance. Let me see if I can get it off really quick, you guys. So this came with my perfume, which I will be keeping this for myself. And then it came with a little purse one. And it's not a roller. It's got a spray. And then the Clinique Happy Body Cream. So my idea for this is to keep the perfume. And then I will give out the little um, purse perfume and the lotion as a gift. So for $55, I got a perfume for myself and a little gift for someone else. I always, well not always, I do sometimes give gift sets away all in one. But I like to split the gift sets up because it's a good way to save money on gift giving. So I was pretty happy about that deal at Ulta, but other than that, I didn't get anything else because, like I said, I wasn't super impressed with the stuff they had. So I did want the black opium, but they didn't have any deals on just the regular perfumes by themselves. The only thing that you might get, and it wasn't even a guarantee, was a like free gift with uh, the purchase of a perfume or cologne that was, I think, 55 or 65 and above. They also had advertised, and I actually saw the advertisement in the Christmas gift that Shazine sent to me. It was in the philosophy. It was a gift set with, like, a candle, the perfume, and I think, like, a body gel. And I it was an amazing grace. It wasn't the angel snow or whatever it was. It had, like cupcakes on the packaging and it was like vanilla frosting or something like that and I looked everywhere in Ulta for that because I was going to purchase that I think those were on sale the sets for like 35 or 45 and they had like I said the amazing grace the sugar Christmas sugared plum and purple but they didn't have them with cupcakes so I was pretty bummed about that so I might go online and see if I can order that from Ulta so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Also, if you would like to be notified when one of my videos is uploaded, hit the subscribe button and then it'll always notify you the second my video is uploaded. It helps me and then it also helps you to know when my videos are uploaded like I just said. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.